I love me a good old YouTube prank. There's nothing funnier than seeing an old man get flustered when a random teenager just walks up to him and moans inside of his ear. Oh. What the f are you doing? Who the hell are you? come up screaming my ear but lately youtube pranks have been going a little overboard and in this video we're going to be talking about why everyone seems to now hate youtube prank channels now if you don't know the history behind youtube pranks youtube pranks started off as something very simple i mean back then youtube pranks would usually consist of like acting awkward pranks drive through pranks and maybe something like picking up girls pranks but then it evolved into this one atmosphere where every single human being on this earth was making fake pranks and the the pranks were so fake that people thought that real pranks were literally fake. And there was also an era where people would call everything a social experiment. And usually those social experiments would just consist of somebody going in the hood and just doing something, then going in the suburbs and doing something. Like it, it was honestly wild. But then back in like 2019, that's when like YouTubers like Danny Duncan and Steezy Kane started popping up. And that's when the whole prank narrative changed. Like there were more people like doing the mic'd up content, how they would go out in public and then just kind of like not really mess with people but make themselves look stupid then other people would be like what is this guy doing you know and people gravitated toward that more because it's like these pranks weren't fake at all it was just people going out in public and just having a little bit of fun and i'm not gonna lie pranks have been all good until the year we're in now 2023 where every single human being on this earth has a prank channel your mother has a prank channel your brother has a prank channel your grandma has a prank channel heck even your dog has a prank channel if you ask 10 random people on the street probably eight of them have a prank channel on youtube it's actually wild like i said i love me a good old youtube prank my five favorite prank youtubers are probably canel joseph jideon loaf deadrian harding and Balin levine no order at all but lately there's been like this new wave of prank youtubers coming up and they've been just getting out of hand i swear every single week there's a new prank youtuber that's popping off and they all have the same exact fit as the top prank youtubers usually it's like some crocs a shirt that promotes sobriety or just a shirt that says something sexual on it but the difference between the top prank youtubers YouTubers and these new up-and-coming prank youtubers is that it's just public harassment like they're not even trying to be funny and that segues into this next segment unfunny pranks now to start off this segment with the bang there has been this whole like clip going around lately of this girl smashing TVs for a prank for everybody they got me fucked up you hear me you brought the TVs up um no huh? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna find out I brought that TV for my house now you know the prank is just unfunny and it's just bad in general when she literally turns the comments off on Instagram reels. This is where I saw the clip. You might have seen it on Twitter or something like that. But basically in the prank, she brung a TV from her house and she's breaking it inside Walmart. Now note, this girl didn't go to jail or anything after this prank. But the problem with this prank is just that it's unfunny. Like she's smashing a TV inside of Walmart and then she's surprised when the cops show up. The cops don't know that you brought that TV from your house. They probably think that you're just some crazy lady inside Walmart breaking a TV. They don't know that it's just for a video. They don't know that. So it doesn't make any sense to me why she's like surprised when she's literally getting arrested. But what's even crazier is that that's not even the worst prank. This one, honestly, on this whole list, I have like a few of these videos. This one is probably the least like the least stupid prank or the least annoying one. This next one coming up is supposed to be a fake McDonald's employee, I guess, trying to work at Burger King or something like that. Just watch the clip. I took your card, put it in there so that you can pay, but don't you be disrespectful. I'll pay for you, ma'am. I'll pay for you. Uh, do you want me to pay for you? I, I don't have enough. Get out. No, I'm I asked Get her. Out. I asked her I'm going to pay for her. All store. I asked was I'm going to pay for her. I thought she didn't have enough. I thought she didn't have enough. I just got to get a Coca-Cola, ma'am. I just got to get a Coca-Cola. She said, get out of the store. Thank you. So like I got water on the floor. What's going on? Come on. I, I just went to buy something. Hey, don't call me a clown, man. I'm not a clown. I'm not a clown. Oh, we're for the kids. It's Team McDonald's all day. Don't be mean to that lady too. Don't be mean to that lady too. Don't be mean to that lady too. Now, before this prank keeps on going, notice how this employee right here, he's just trying to like escort him out. Like, bro, come on, let's just go. Like, we're not trying to like get too physical or anything. Cause he sees that the woman behind the counter is already mad. And this dude is trying to egg it on. Then you just got this dude in the red shirt. That's just like, yo, let's just like, come on. I'm guessing prior to that, this dude was probably just riling freaking the employees up or something. And you see this guy is just trying to get him out of there. Cause he's like, he doesn't want it to escalate anymore. He's just trying to be a nice guy, but just keep on watching. Me to that lady too, come on. 
come on. Oh, we're both getting out together. Yeah. Well. And I said, me and you, me and you. Me and you getting out together. We're both getting out together, bro. We're both getting out together. We're both getting out together, bro. We're both getting out together. Come on. Come out with me. Come out with me. Come out with me. Come out with me. We're both getting out together, bro. 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 Get out. We're both getting out together. Hold on. Hold on. Why you pushing me? Why you pushing me? Why you grabbing my neck, bro? Why you grabbing my neck, bro? Why you grabbing my neck? Get out. I I got my neck. Three. So now what? Get out. Get out. Get out. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's Team McDonald's all day. Like the sad part about this clip is that this dude was literally just trying to do his job. He probably doesn't even want to be there. He's working at Burger King. He's just trying to get his bread up, whatever. And he's trying to get this dude out. He's just trying to escort him out. Then this guy is trying to fight. He's grabbing him and everything. Like that's not even a funny prank. You're literally just harassing minimum wage workers. All this dude had to do was get out. Even when it comes to like a lot of the like high tier prank YouTubers, a lot of them, let's say when somebody gets out, they'll make jokes and stuff like that. But it's never to the point where like they're grabbing the other other person saying oh yeah we're both gonna get out you're gonna come out with me it never gets to that point where it's physical but the fact that this dude just 100 escalated to being physical after they told him to get out like bro that's not even funny you're just being sad it's crazy what people would do for views nowadays it's honestly wild and the funniest part is that even the comments are cooking on this man he little broed you his face when he got choked Bruh. the fact you posted this after that weak eye kick <laughs> It's like this dude thought he did something. He thought that this was a banger video. And I'm glad that all the comments are putting him in check because this prank isn't funny at all. Like it just seems like this guy is just harassing these minimum wage workers while they're just trying to like, they're just trying to get through the day, just make their bread, whatever. And this dude is trying to come in there, harass, trying to make up in quotes banger prank when it's not even funny. You're just being physical, being stupid. Like, bro, come on. And now this next clip, this one is even worse. Thank you. Oh, it slipped out my hand. I'm so sorry. No problem. I'm sorry. No, no problem. That won't happen again. Mm -hmm. Now tell me this, right? When you're thinking of a prank, how is this one funny? You literally just threw a water cup at a random Starbucks employee doing their job. And this man is lucky that they even gave him another cup. He is lucky. He's lucky that they didn't just say get out after that first one. He's lucky that they were nice enough to make him a whole new cup. Like this one isn't even funny, bro. He's literally just harassing a minimum wage worker, bro. Like I don't think people realize like a lot of people when they go to work, they hate their jobs. A lot of people don't want to be there. And the fact that you're just making it 10 times harder for them to get through the day, it's honestly annoying just for a few views on the internet. It's like, bro, if you're going to make a funny prank, why don't you actually have something well thought out and actually be funny? Why don't you actually be funny without having to harass people? Make yourself look like the joke, not the freaking employees. And now this last clip, it's another clip from this exact same guy who threw the water cup and it's even worse. Yo, excuse me, guys. Um, I'm trying to get something to eat. You think you might be spare change by any chance? Do you want a get you a $5 if you could, it'd be a blessing. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. What's your name? Fanya, I'm Trey. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Hey, guys. I just want to say thank you so much for giving me that food. I want to give you this rock. <laughs> now, if you didn't give me any money to get food, mm -hmm. I would have bashed both your skulls in with that rock. But I want to say life's about choices. And you made a valuable choice and the correct choice. You decided to spare money for that meal, and I decided to spare your lives. Oh. What are you talking about, bro? Spare my you life for what? You guys are super sweet. sweet. Are you fucking serious? Honey, honey, honey. Bro, get your shit in balance. You guys are really sweet, you know? Don't fucking talk I to appreciate me like that. that. How dare you, bro? Thank you. Oh, you're you lucky. Kind gesture to buy yeah. something and that's what you want. Like it literally makes no sense, bro. This man is literally telling people that he's gonna bash their skull in with a rock if they didn't buy him food. Like, I don't know what goes through this man's brain to even think to say that out loud after they literally just bought him food. They didn't have to buy him food at all. They didn't. But the fact that they did and he still proceeded with that in quotes prank, it's so sad. Like the fact is, a lot of these up and coming prank YouTubers, none of them have any comedic value. All they try to do is just harass these people and just try to get a rise out of 
of everyone instead of actually being funny. And I feel like a lot of the prank YouTubers that are up top, like Deadrian Harding, Jideon, Balin Levine, I feel like they get a lot of hate because of these up and coming prank YouTubers. A lot of these up and coming prank YouTubers, they make it bad for a lot of the people who are also trying to come up because it's like they're not even funny. They're just harassing people. And since we're talking about like the top prank YouTubers, Balin Levine, he has this one law for pranks, which I think is honestly amazing. Number one, if you make a mess, pick everything up. And number two, make the joke on you, not other people. Like if you go into a store and you just call a dude a bitch, that's not a prank. You're just, you're just harassing a dude. You're just, you're just calling him a bitch. Like that's not funny. But if you go into a store or something and it's like, you're the joke and everybody is laughing at you. That is the point of a prank. Like people are like, oh my gosh, what is this guy doing? And that's the thing with prank videos. It's like, you're supposed to go out in public and do something that's embarrassing to kind of make people laugh. You're not supposed to go out in public and make other people feel embarrassed. You're supposed to go out in public and embarrass yourself. That's why pranks are so funny. You ever see one of those college lecture pranks and it's like, dang, it's crazy that this man has the balls to do that. Like Gideon, he did a college lecture prank where he got a haircut in there. Like a lot of people don't have the balls to do that. And even though it kind of disrupted the class, people still got like a, they got a laugh out of it. And if you're not making the people that are like around you laugh, like bro, your prank just isn't funny. If you would have pitched that idea of throwing a water cup at a Starbucks worker to me, I would have been like, that prank is not funny. Do not do it, my boy. Like honestly, at this point, if you're an up and coming prank YouTuber and you're freaking harassing minimum wage workers and you're trying to fight them and stuff like that, at that point, just make fake pranks. Because I'm telling you, you are not going to get anywhere by literally going out in public and getting choked out by a Burger King employee. Like it's just wild. Overall, I just feel bad for a lot of the prank YouTubers out there who are actually trying to like make these creative pranks and just make like people laugh and stuff because a lot of them are going to get overshadowed by BS like this of people freaking smashing TVs or going into Burger King and trying to fight an employee. But it's pretty crazy that like this is like the next wave of prank YouTubers. These dudes just doing these crazy things to get some views, just harassing people. And I don't even want to see the next wave of prank YouTubers because it's probably going to be even worse. It's probably going to be people shooting people for a freaking prank. Like how is that a prank that you just shot your friend in the leg? That's not a prank at all. But yeah, that's pretty much the reason why a lot of people hate prank YouTubers because a lot of the clips that go viral are the ones that shouldn't really go viral. It's the ones of people just harassing other people. And the pranks that are actually funny out there aren't really getting as much love because it's like they just get overshadowed by these dudes fighting Burger King workers. Like, bro, why are you trying to fight a Burger King worker? Bro is just trying to get his bread up. Like, it's it's actually wild, dog. But yeah, with all that being said, this is going to wrap up the video. If you guys made it this far, I appreciate you. If you guys enjoyed this video, then I highly recommend you guys check out my most recent video where I talk about how Mr. Beast ruined YouTube by accident. But yeah, with all that being said, thank you guys for watching. It's Cameron and I'm out.